Hi, KPTSB. It's Allie, one of the speech language pathologists. Happy Better Speech and Hearing Month. This occurs every May and is designed to bring awareness to communication disorders and strategies to prevent and treat them. Today, I will be talking about temporal concepts and grammar. I'm sure you're wondering what time has to do with language. That involves numbers. Isn't that more of a math concept? Well, if a child doesn't understand time words, this can lead to difficulties with a variety of language skills. The most common way I see this manifest is difficulty with verb tenses. If a child doesn't understand the concepts of past, present, and future, they likely won't use any verb tense markers such as present tense ing or past tense ed. This can be very tricky to follow a child's story if they don't use these markers since you don't know if they're talking about events in the past or the future. I will outline the steps that need to be in place in order for your child to have a solid understanding of time so you can use your judgment to determine which step your child needs to begin working on. First, I suggest introducing the concept of time in a broad sense, such as seasons of the year. Categorize events or pictures by season, such as make a snowman, go to the beach, Halloween. Using visuals often helps to solidify new concepts, so I really like the Four Seasons resource by Lindsay Keegan. Of course, you can always use your own pictures or just talk about it out loud. You can also discuss months of the year, days of the week, times of the day, etc. Once you're satisfied that your child has a basic grasp of time, try sorting events into the past, present, and future. This will require some explicit teaching such as, the past has already happened, it's all done, it's behind us. The present is happening right now. The future has not happened yet, we're getting ready for it. It's in front of us. I like to have the child draw events into a chart to make it relevant and meaningful to them. For example, if they are five years old, put five in the present column, four in the past, and six in the future. Or have them draw what they eat for breakfast or what they will eat for dinner. If possible, use distinct events since recurring ones can be difficult to classify, such as going on a trip, grandparents coming to visit, the birth of a sibling, etc. And keep in mind that events can move categories as time passes. For example, your child may be looking forward to a hockey tournament. So place that in the future column. Show them how it moves into the present column once they're at the tournament, and then the past column once it's over. Now that your child understands temporal concepts, you can begin to introduce the comprehension of verb tenses. First of all, make sure that your child knows what a verb is. I typically frame it as, verbs are action words. They are things that you can do. And then brainstorm a list of verbs. Give them opportunities to identify verbs in sentences. Once they understand verb words, relate verb tenses to the concepts of past, present, and future that you already practiced. Explain that we use will for the future, ing for the present, 
and D for the past. It's important to note that I avoid irregular verbs at first. For example, avoid the word run because it doesn't follow the ED rule. You don't say runned. You, the parent, can say a sentence containing various verb tenses and see if your child can identify the corresponding picture as in point to he jumped. Point to he is jumping. Point to he will jump. I like the verb tenses packet by Love Speech Therapy by Betsy. Otherwise, you can take pictures of your child before, during, and after an activity. Your child can also practice sorting verb tenses into their respective categories. When your child can identify verb tenses, they are now ready to practice producing the tenses. If they need extra support, it may help to give them a sentence starter and or pair a visual cue with a verb marker. For example, if you're talking about the verb play, have your child complete the sentence as in tomorrow I will play. Today I am playing. Yesterday I played. Keep practicing until you hear your child use all verb tense markers in their conversational speech. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon.